County Dispatch 309, mark me in service. Now we own it. Time now is 12.01. Now we own it. 12.01. What the fuck? I have no idea. I have no idea. Now, when I talked to Finco and he was like, we was talking about all the pursuits and the supercars and shit. And he was like, what are you going to push? Like, what rig? And I was like, I'm pushing I'm pushing the, the, the Vic, man. And me and him were talking about it. I was like, that's the thing. You know, is that maybe they outrun me in the short term. But there is no fucking substitute for good police work. They cannot outrun Motorola. Y'all remember Mr. Mage in the tow truck? That was a full day and a half later on from when he ran in that stolen car. But we did the good police work and we snatched his goofy ass up, tossed his ass in jail. And that's how it goes. That's how it goes. You could put us on a three-wheeled fucking skateboard out here, boy. We'd still make felony arrests. Still keep the booty house packed with fresh souls. Good on y'all. Good on y'all. I hope y'all had a hell of a weekend. Hope y'all had a hell of a weekend. It's good to rest up. Also, there was some people that was asking about the, the schedule. So, trying to figure out what works best for everybody. We want to try to get a schedule uh, that allow the most possible people to, to hang out live and, and uh, participate and stuff. Uh, so we're looking at that. It, it might change, and if it does, I'll make sure to tweet it out and everything else uh, so all y'all know what it looks like. But we're thinking about adding some weekends in there um, so uh, so some more people can hang out with us. But uh, just wanted to keep y'all in the loop as to that because we are looking at that stuff. My man's just walking in the street. There's a fence. You have to walk around that fence. Walk with as much purpose as you want. You're not going to be able to walk through an eight-foot fence, fella. All right? It's, I don't know what that guy was doing. Obviously, we just passed the the mittens, the site of the incident. Rest in peace, mittens. But hell yeah, I don't know if y'all uh, if y'all ever played squad before, but uh, bike man was the one who uh, introduced me to Squall and was like, you should come out and play for a little bit. And we went out there and played, and I'll tell you what, y'all, that game is fun as all get out. Timestamp's going to be 1409. It is, it is fun as all get out. It is really fucking fun. Uh, played a whole shitload of that this, this weekend, so we might be adding adding that to, uh, to some of the games we might play. Uh... Might be adding maybe some Friday the 13th. Can't call it yet, but I'll let y'all know. Keep everybody in the loop. We'll just go out there, do the same shit that we do in here. Go out there and snatch souls. Dispatch Adam 1, show us traffic out with a black colored pony van on mm -hmm. uh, eastbound Popular Street. Look at that plate. Just cross Glory Way. Plate's going to be 9 Henry William David Lincoln Nora. <laughs> Ten four. Hold you out of that vehicle. Nine four. William David Lincoln Nora. Nine four. William David Lincoln Nora. Timestamp's gonna be fourteen oh nine. Yep. For those of y'all that plays, yeah. See, I see, I see some folks in the chat have actually played it. I'll tell y'all what. The sounds in that game. Good night. Holy shit. Takes the pucker factor to fucking eleven, man. With those. Mortars and IEDs and shit start going on. <laughs> it's fucking intense, man. It is fucking intense. Some of the firefights and shit, good God in heaven. If y'all ain't seen some of the clips, it, it gets fucking intense fast. You'll be uh, smoking and joking in the back of a truck, just bullshitting, and then all of a sudden you, you're in the middle of the, you're in the middle of that shit. Automatic weapons fire, fucking explosions and shit going off. Blood spitting ass everywhere. Fucking intense as hell. Now, an incoming 911 call, we'll take that. Shit. Dispatch any available unit in the vicinity of Cassidy Trail and Cassidy Creek. We're receiving a phase two 911 call. Stand by for additional. 
Ten seventeen is gonna be reporting that my body is hurt. We're on Cassidy Trail. It's gonna be a multiple part if I can get a couple of units to respond, code three. Three oh nine. Four fifty one. Medic one on standby. Okay, Cassidy Trail's gonna be up here. Four fifty one, I'll be diverting temporarily. I got a limousine clocked at hundred and thirty two northbound snore just around Ooh. Grapeseed area. The fucking thing is moving. Good God. Anyway, Cassidy Trail, we're going to have a 911 call. Uh, looks like it's going to be an injury, maybe an accidental. That area is pretty popular with hikers and, uh, and other folks go up there to play fuck around games, whatever it is, and they're always reckless as hell. Probably slipped on a fuck of banana peel, split his head open or some shit. We'll go up there, figure out what the fuck is going on. Make a hole, make a hole. Four fifty one up there to twenty. I'm still trying to catch up to that limousine. We'll be entering Polito shortly. Limousine's moving fast as shit. I only know three people that fly limousines. Two for single ready. Robert, either Queen. Five one one. Robert Ida Queen five one one. Robert Ida Queen five one one. Dispatch copies. Okay, we got the tag on it. Located at Procopia in the Great Ocean. Okay, you got him. Good on you, buddy. Way to, way to, way to, way to, way to play, bud. Cruising at around twenty five miles per hour down Polito Boulevard. That's my man Close right the there, running the fuck down. Double check our area here. It's pingback is going to be in the Cassidy Trail area. I did not see any disabled vehicles or anybody up near the roadway. We'll swing Final back. Going to be out front of the bank. Uh, we might need to wait for another unit that can handle some of the off-road terrain if those sons of bitches are way back in there. So there's caves and shit, all kinds of fucked up stuff that. If you play the game like a normal human being, or you are a normal person just in general, you'll never find. These sons of bitches find a way to find it. Like they, 100%, they'll be like, "Where are you? Where are you at? Oh, I'm trapped in Rattlesnake Cave. You're what? What? Rattles, Rattlesnake fucking cave? What the fuck are you doing in Rattlesnake Cave? Oh, we wanted to come check out the snakes." And then they bit that ass. Now we got to go in there in the rattlesnake fucking cave or wherever the fuck else. You know, and, and, and pull them the fuck out of there amidst the snakes and shit. Like, that's that's how it goes. They, they find these fucking places. Oh, where are you? I'm in an abandoned mine. The fuck? How'd you get into an abandoned mine? Oh, we broke in. You broke in? I don't want Code four, 10, you're, you're surprised you're hurt? What the fuck's wrong with you? 451, I got one detained. Abandoned mine has to be in the top five. 1414, Abandoned mine's got to be in the top five places you just fucking avoid for just common sense reasons. Abandoned mine. Look, I'm going to go hang out with all my reckless ass. Thank you, Tow Truck. I'm gonna go hang out with all my reckless ass friends. Where should we go? I know. Why don't we go check out that old mental hospital that they shut down? You know, where that crazy clown's supposed to live at? The fuck? What the fuck? County dispatch 309, homie out code six in the area. That's the kind of shit we're dealing with. It's like every one of those bad horror movies you ever watch when they like, they find some shit like in one of those places. Blue car part. They fly, They find one of those places and there's like a box or something, like a coffin. And it's like jumping and shit and they're like, Ugh. you hear that shit like coming out of it. And what do they do? They open it. They open it up. And then, and then everybody gets fucked. 
That's how it happens. Try to find some more detail on this. They're saying that they're near the bridge. Look for a blue car park. I did not see a fucking blue car. Again, though, they could be almost anywhere where it's pinging back. Like, it gives us a very broad area to search uh, because the cell tower is not going to be able to pull that on the 911. They're just getting the kind of a generalized fucking location. These people out opening up coffins and shit, releasing Freddy Cougar. Knife fucking hands on the on the world. That's what they're out here doing. So, you know, I don't even know. We're the nightmare police We're trying to come out here and stop these sons of bitches from fuck going. Up. Nope. Nope. It's an old shitty station wagon. Allah Allah oxen free. Near the bridge that crosses the river. Fuck me. They're all the way down here. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. What y'all want to bet? We get out there, we hear that round, 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 round. Fucking murder kitty's noise. All right now. All right. Yield the road, Rudolph. Really? Is some bitch gonna do this? This is what he's gonna do? Dispatch medic one. Uh, that last 911 call, that one was strictly medical, right? Uh, so far. Uh, if you want to start that way, RP is gonna be saying that they're out near the bridge off Cassidy Trail, likely gonna be the rail trussle bridge. Um, gonna be Cassidy Trail, Califia Road, probably the Califia Road bridge area. And for medical one, I'm already here. I uh, just don't know if it's clear not to uh, go closer. What the hell? Tim, for you. You can go closer. For me. He's already there. What the hell is going on? You know, like County dispatchers. Is that going to be a medical call? Yeah. For, I mean, what we know of, yeah. We don't have anybody else out with it. Oh, okay. I was already here. So I just figured I'd let y'all know that in case it was dangerous that it's already too late. Over. What the fuck? Dispatch medic one out of ten twenty three. What the fuck? Maybe maybe he was staged. Ten four fourteen twenty hours. Maybe he was staged. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe maybe he was like staged and he wasn't like already in there like negative medic. Medic one, uh, call is going to be pertaining to a possible meth lab. Bikers armed with poisonous snake launchers. Don't go in there. Uh, dispatch from medic one. I'm already, I'm already covered in the snakes. They already, uh, they've been launching them. What, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Holy shit, we almost killed the shit out of that fox or whatever the fuck the thing. Man, they'll come out in the road on you. Good God. Alright, where's the meat wagon? Oh my God, where the fuck is this? Hold together, buddy. Hold together, war wagon. Hello? Ambulance got... Son of a bitch. Yep, there he is. There they are. I cannot wait to hear this, chat. Cannot wait to hear this shit. 
Oh yeah, best believe if a murder kitty comes, we're gonna give that some bitch a blast of buckshot in the face. If somebody's gonna get mauled, it ain't gonna be us. Dead ass deer. Wonder how that shit happened. These boys came all the way out here to the wilderness, play some fucking hills have eyes tummy sticks out here. Deer probably saw it, died of shock, and then they slipped on a banana peel and busted their head open. That's my theory. Let's check this shit out. Yep, we're going with the street sweeper. I don't think so. Out here in the fucking wilderness with those goddamn murder cats and shit around? Nope. Bring him big boom. Okay, well, you got quite a big cut on the back of your head here. Do you think it'll be fine? Buddy had a bit of force on it. I doubt it. From my experience, he probably won't make it. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> this water That's better be poor. That's the officer. Sorry, just being a realist. It doesn't look good from here. Uh, for a morale officer, they're a real jackass. Oh, why don't you come on over oh, here? Oh, no. Come over here. I'll show you how big of a jackass I can be. Come here. Come over hey, here. Hey, officer. Get over here now. Gonna watch out for this man. I'm oh, coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's, I was just joking, out. sir. Yeah, I like oh, to joke. Man, come on strong. up. Like to... Okay, we're going to get Why don't you turn around those. and put your hands behind your back, palms together. You're not under arrest, you're being detained. This is how I, I joke. That's how I start my jokes. Alright, alright. Yeah, you better cage that fucking attitude right now, I'll tell you that. I'm at work. It's yes sir, no sir, Trooper Thompson. I can give a fuck what you think you're going to be doing out here. Bottom line is, this is a police call. You're out here behaving unsafe. See a bunch of wildlife that also happens to be dead out here makes me think y'all was engaged in some gunplay. So if I was you, I'd cage it. Alright, sir, now I'm going to stood up here nice and slow. Oh, okay. On count of three. Gotta come in hard, chat. Set the tone. One, two, three. Now, the likelihood of us jamming him, probably low. Let's be honest. But it's the beginning of the shift. Can't have some low level clown and a weird sock hat with his perm sticking out from underneath it like a broke ass James Brown dictating terms. That we will not do. That we will not abide, chat. Not for one fucking second. Good God start, in heaven. Uh, noticing like, uh, More dead fucking seeing, like, animals over white. here. Like you start losing color, uh, dizzy spells, things like that. Head to the hospital immediately. Okay, okay. Cool. Sure will. Were these sons of bitches just shooting every single thing they could find? I mean, was that what it is? Some of these are dope. Yeah, nice shooting, Tex. Real hero. Y'all ever wanted to know who shot Bambi's mom? These two motherfuckers right here. Mystery fucking solved. What the fuck do you do, man? Why don't you come over here too, ball cap? Come right over here in front of me, yeah, face away from me, place your hands behind your back, palms together. Who was doing the shooting? How do, do I look like a hunter to you? I don't know what the hell a hunter looks like, sir, but I do not like the attitude. Make no mistake, I'm in charge and I'm asking the fucking questions. You're the guy who's out here splayed out flatter than a rail yard penny. You boys better start acting right. Are they good to go, uh, Doc? Yep, they're all clear medically. Fantastic, sir. Would not want them entering prison uh, with any kind of ailments. The boys like the meat fresh. Thank you, sir. Not a problem. Mm hmm, hmm. 451, I'll be en route to SO for moving. 10 4 451, show you en route to 1425. Dispatch from 309, I'm gonna be out with two subjects. Uh, gonna be detained. Uh, medical's gonna be clearing. Dispatch, Patrick, one, come on, come on. Let's do the police work. Queen Sam Ocean 253. RO Sylvester Von Otter. Okay, so Sylvester's going to be the fella in the in the ball cap that was fucked up. His friend going to be Mr. Dick Hertz. Hilarious. 
Yeah. Likely an amateur comedian, probably at a strip club on weekends. Uh, I thought it was. Shut up before I come down there and put boot to fucking ass. You boys don't need to be talking unless you're answering questions. <laughs> yes, sir. Sylvester Von Otter. We're going to check him for warrants. Real cute, the dick hurts thing. I recognize that voice, too. I recognize that fucking attitude. Please, be, please have a warrant. Come on. Damn! Shit. Well, didn't win the lottery this time. That would be fantastic. If old Mouth... If Mouth had a felony warrant, you know how fucking funny that would be? That would be fucking fantastic. Going down there, he's jawjacking and shit, be like, Surprise, dickhead, you're under arrest. For what? Illegal am animal husbandry. Found out about those snakes he was breeding. State wants to cut that money, boy. And you sit tight. I, okay, okay. I'm sorry, sir. What? Yeah, yes, trooper. I will stand here. Okay, sir. Now, you have your ID on you, sweatpants? Uh, yes, sir. It's in, uh... Well, I mean, I don't really have any pockets, but I kind of just tuck it in the waistband there. You're just tucking it in? Just tuck it in the waistband? Yeah. Sir, I'm not going to remind you again about the yes, sir, and the no, sir. You're about to get on my bad side. All right, let's see here, ball cap. You got any weapons on you I should know about, sir? Uh, I have a pistol. Hmm. Well, looks like the river took that shit. Let's we'll start with old Goofy. Let's we'll start with Jerry Curl. Actually, I don't even know. That doesn't even look like... Medic 1, 309, direct. Looks like maybe he just rubbed dirt in it. Send it. Be advised, there's uh, numerous cougars and coyotes in your vicinity. 10-9? Ten, ten, coyotes riding on cougars? What? 10-4. Solid copy. Oh, shit, chat. They formed an unholy alliance. We have to protect these two jokers. All right, sir. Again, you are not under arrest, but you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at no cost by the state. You have the right to have that attorney present while you are being questioned. You have the right to invoke these rights at any point in time. Do you understand your rights? Yes, sir. All right, sir. Now, who was doing the fucking shooting, sir? We both were. We were out here hunting elk. How many elk, perhaps, were you thinking about getting them? Because I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. What are you hunting for? Commercial purposes? Personal use? What? Uh, 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 leisure. Leisure, huh? Sir. That's a whole shitload of meat, boys. You must really pack away the venison. Now, how exactly were you boys planning on transporting out these one, two, three, four, five adult elk in your shitbox blue sedan with a luggage rack that's already half full? I haven't thought that far ahead, sir. Oh, so you didn't think about that part before you shot these poor fucking things in the face? When were you going to start thinking about that part? Be obviously, not before you killed them, right? Yes, sir. Probably fresh off a hair appointment. Didn't want to miss the opportunity to slaughter some animals when they come to get a drink of water in your in your sock hat and your sweatsuit, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, wouldn't want to miss your window opportunity. How many of these did you kill, sir? Uh, probably route either two or three, sir. Two or three for you, huh? So your girlfriend over there dropped the other two? Yes, sir. Okay, I assume y'all have your hunting licenses, also have uh, all your documentation in order? 
Uh, every everything is in my wallet. Everything's in your wallet, sure. huh? That you can't carry because you ain't got no pockets, so you just tuck it in your waistband. Yes, sir. So where's your wallet at, Mr. Hertz? It's right here in my uh, waistband. Oh, it's tucked. The sure. wallet's also tucked in the waist. So that's a strong ass waistband that's on those ass. floppy ass sweatsuit pants you got. It's a little tight, sir. Mm-hmm. I don't know, Mr. Hertz. Given your attitude, the state of affairs around here, I'm thinking about running you boys in for public display of a firearm illegal discharge. What do you think about that? Y'all do some fucking jail time. Maybe next time I show up on a scene, you won't be so quick with that mouth. What do you think? I'm sorry, sir. I was just trying to make conversation. Oh, yeah? Talking shit? That's how you make conversation? I, I apologize. I apologize for my remark earlier, sir. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Mr. Hertz. Let's go fuck with him a little bit, this fellow over here. Sir, can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Fantastic. Why don't you go ahead and put on your inside voice. Don't want to upset Mr. Hertz. He's deep in thought. Um... In, on in, inside voice now, sir. Fantastic, sir. Fantastic. Do you prefer... I assume that's going to be your vehicle up there, the blue sedan? Yes, but the old man would never afford a car like that. Touche. You have your ID on you? Dispatch Adam 1, show us code Yeah, I'm um, back in right the area of it, Power Street. It's a bit tight jeans, so yeah, you're going to have to take it out. If need be, I'll cut it out of the pocket just to make sure I get it, sir. First of all, my name is Trooper Thompson with the San Andreas State Police. Uh, I am at work. I prefer yes, sir, no, sir, and Trooper Thompson. That way we can expedite your police service. Make sure you get all of the attention you deserve. Okay, Mr. Von Otter, do you prefer Sylvester or Mr. Von Otter? Uh, uh, anything anything's fine, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So do you want to explain to me, sir, who was doing the shooting? Uh, we both were. You both were. Um, yeah. Okay. And for what purpose, sir? Just y'all felt like killing uh, shit? For fun. It's legal here, right? For fun. Okay. Well, yeah, hunting's legal. I don't know if that's what I'd call this. I'm counting. Let's ask her. Excuse me, miss. Miss, you have like a second? Uh, what? What the? I'm asking. I'm not talking to you. Um, okay. Was well, probably going to mourn the dead. Anyway, yeah. sir, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five adult carcasses here. I'm seeing two jokers, one of whom dressed like he's just out of a Rick James concert, and the other whom is wearing a yellow ball cap. We find him splayed the fuck out on the opposite bank of the river there. None of y'all got any kind of idea what the fuck you're doing. You're here in a beat-ass blue sedan with a luggage rack already half full, and you're telling me that you're going to be transporting out one, two, three, four, five fully grown elk using that vehicle up there. Is that what? Is that what yeah. you're telling me? Yeah, I mean, we. I live in the car, so that's my luggage. Uh, we could just move like the luggage into the like, com in like the trunk, and we could put a fit the just on the roof. I tell you what, based on the attitude and the, and what I'm seeing here, I'm thinking maybe you two are just a couple of junior sociopaths out here trying to kill whatever moves, so you can. So you can get your jollies. That's what it looks like to me. Maybe y'all gonna be graduating to fucking become serial killers or some shit. Maybe I should step in right now, send y'all's ass up to state fucking prison for a little rehabilitation, sir. Uh, please do not, sir. Uh, okay, this is a bit like um, uh, weird, perhaps, but uh, you see, the old man, he 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 has like no money. Uh, so we were trying to like get some food and stuff for him. And yeah, it got a little bit hard, out of hand, you know, because I've never been hunting, and I, I don't think he has been hunting. He, he's very weird, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd call setting an ambush with handguns near the water source hunting. Either way, five is excessive. Okay? So what we're going to do yeah, here, sir, sir, is I'm going to uncuff you. You are going to collect your girlfriend over there. You two are going to go up to that vehicle, you're going to get in, you're going to drive out of here legal like like responsible ass adults, and you're not going to make me regret cutting you loose, you hear me? Yeah, 
Yeah, I hear you, sir. Do not make me remind you again you. about the yes, sir, and the no, sir. We are not friends. We're not hanging out at cap I, I, a casual happy hour following work. You understand that? I, I said so, sir. All right, Rick James, you and Mr. Von Otter are free to go. You may head on up to the vehicle up there and depart here legal and calm-like. Just for future reference, boys, shooting five fully grown animals and trying to transport it out in a fucking sedan that old boy lives in? Pretty goddamn foolish. Let's think ahead next time. A lot of this meat's going to go to waste. Yes, sir. All right, then. Go ahead. Bust a move. Let's get out of here. County Dispatch 309 going to be back in service. 10 4 Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's do the paperwork. So not completely wasted. You know what I mean? It was a medical, but we did make contact with two fucking banana heads out here fucking off. Killing animals, I guess. Just, they said they were hunting, but for the life of me, I have no idea what the fuck they think they're doing. A vehicle like that, three, or, or excuse me, five adult carcasses here. Neither one of those sons of bitches had a knife, so it wasn't like they were going to clean and dress the fucking animals here and then pack the shit out. So... I mean, what the fuck are we talking about? You know what I mean? Is it going to be like that fucking scene from Deer Hunter where they strap the shit to the fucking hood and it's just like a car covered in fucking blood spitting ash just going down the fucking highway 60 miles an hour and intestines and shit fucking flying out? Makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense, chat. It's dumb as fuck. Those boys deserved every second of that. Every fucking second of that. And anybody who's actually been hunting, you know that if you try to pull some nonsense like that shit, what we just saw, that's a great way to get your ass whipped. It's a great way to make an enemy out of everybody else who, who has ever hunted even once. Much less dudes that are out here like full fucking ghillie suit camouflage with like deer calls and shit. With deer stands, they sit in for like 16 fucking hours. You got these two jack wagons that are out by the fucking... The riverbank ambush a deer with handguns ain't gonna use none of the meat or nothing. Buttholes. Buttholes. I, I just, in my mind, I just tried to envision the scene. You know what I mean? Like, some actual real hunters, heaven forbid, come upon these two banana heads. Out here shooting their guns off, killing these deer and shit. Like, what the carnage would look like. I don't even know if you'd find the bodies. It'd be that bad. Like, it'd be some deliverance type shit. I don't even know what to call that. That'd have been bad. So, as unhappy as they were to see us, they're probably a lot luckier that somebody else didn't wander on by and discover their stupid asses down there doing that dumb shit. Okay, my man says, our rifle's allowed on the server. Could somebody RP being a hunter? It depends. Uh, there are rifles uh, on the server you can get. Um, before they had the Force animals. 51, I'll be heading southbound snore just past under 68. Got a black horse fleeing the scene of an accident. Tag's going to be Victor Victor X-Ray. 461, fair to yield at this time. Ten nine of the tag is Victor Victor X Ray four six one speeds are going to be one hundred and forty southbound just passing the fifteen junction four fifty one from three oh nine be advised Victor Victor X Ray four six one Victor Victor X Ray four six one returns as a not on file plate 
10 4. They're going to be hooking a ride up the dirt road just prior to the way station. Black and colored Porsche, unknown occupancy. Swinging back, we're going to be heading northwest now on the dirt road. Well, somebody decided to give old Doyle a run for his money. 451, are you off uh, Sonora Freeway or are you going to be off Tully and Palomino? We are off Sonora Freeway heading northwest from the way station. We're approaching towards the Sandy Shores airstrip, general direction of travel. I'll update when we get to hardball. Man, I tell you what. We're going to be on the uh, southwest on side you. of the prison. Back there, People road think road. I'm bad? That, that son of a bitch is a fucking bird dog. Good luck. Good luck, you criminal ass bastards. You probably should have been doing the damn speed limit. Should be coming out on 68, westbound 68. I'm still having trouble keeping with him. 309's out on 68. I'm prepared to deploy spikes. 10 4. We're coming up to the Joshua Jones oh. probably in a minute or so. He's no. way ahead of me. Shit. Should be passing that uh, gas station at the four way intersection. Spikes at Algonquin and Joshua Road. Algonquin and Joshua Road. He's going to be pulling off that gas station, Joshua Road 68, back off road conditions again. We're going to be heading south from there. Shit. One at gunpoint, one at, got no. one at gunpoint behind that gas station. God damn it. Joshua. That's just, just annoying as fuck. One at gunpoint and flying, waiting for additional. Temple. We're going to be on the southwest side of the gas station at that intersection, repeating the location of Route 68 and Joshua. He's at the gas station, Route 68, Joshua Road. Oh shit, he's down here. He's going to, he went the wrong way. We was in the wrong spot. I thought for sure if he was going Sandy Shores Airfield that he'd push past the airfield. Well, come you could say CMS because of that vehicle related collision. He's got complaints. Chief complaints going to be next night. That he would come down this way and then take Joshua out to uh, where those rail, the rail lines are. Yeah, I'm still got one at gunpoint. I'm Joshua Road headed to 68, maybe one mic. Uh, Temple, I'll stand by. You know. That's what I'm reading. It is what it is. These wild sons of bitches, you never know. Saying he's got one at one point. He should be coming up first. Obviously, now, anybody again who's watched the stream, thank you to Stanley at 5M. The siren is now bugged, so it will not work. Appreciate that. And I don't even know what that is with the magical disappearing vehicle. I've never seen that shit. Oh, dead ass bird. If that's you coming in, I'll keep lethal. You want to cough? I got the car by now. Hey, firm. I'm at the gas station now. You farther down 68. 10 4. We're uh, located on. We're out back of that gas station. We're going to be on the uh, southwest side. You should be able to pick up on my siren. I got it on still. Nope, I kinda of course not. I do not hear it. Adam Ida. We're going to be delayed. Maybe he's talking about the other fucking gas station. Oh. This is all Stanley's fault. If I could hear the siren correct, and vehicles weren't disappearing and shit. Fucking witchcraft, fucking voodoo. Break, break, break. 1090, hold up alarm. The Polito Bay Bank. All available units. Identify and respond code 3. Oh, shit. Sorry, Crown Vic. I don't want to respond again. Or is it this one? He's saying Route 68 in Joshua. See this? That's some that's some shit where you know you could say like the timing is a little a little bit convenient on something like that. Like how would they know that we're all tied up with all this shit? Man, unless an old boy in the Porsche was a designated decoy. Do is I'm gonna have you put down your hands, go into your eyeballs. You're gonna step backwards to me. All right, we'll do. All right there's good. Stop. 
And then just put your hands behind your back, palms together, fingers interlaced. Don't move. I will not move. Eli, you here, boss? Yes, sir. I got your back. All right. All right. I got lethal. I don't know what you stepped out as. I don't want to throw this uh, carbine if you want to go ahead and put them braces on them. Hey, firm. I'm moving up now. You even twitch, boy. You're going to ride the lightning. I got you. I got you. I ain't moving. Car's clear, door. That's stolen, by the way. All That's right. Stolen. I'm mine. Also, there's drugs in the trunk. Well, god damn. Hmm. Oh, I'm trying to be as compliant as possible, uh, you know. 45 seconds out from I fucked the up, bank. and, uh, well, here I am. Matty, 1023. Hey, you can have the medics look at him. I got all his shit now. Who the fuck is this dude? The voice sounds familiar. I do not recall yeah, that, doing. sir. Yeah, it's not too bad. Look, banged up. I banged up my knee in a little accident on the highway. See, another thing I hate about these motherfucking right, helmets you, uh, is that uh, the only way to get them off right of this dude is if I push one, we got uh, man, Probably three or four on my knee. Hey, you can fuck that if you need to, boss. Thank you for the assist. Notice no location. Oh, that's one of there Son the of a bitch! White contender taking off westbound. Fuck. Fuck. Man, I'm not even gonna say anything, y'all. Not gonna say anything. We got shots fired at the Toledo Bank. Off one officer down. Break, break, break. Ten thirteen. Ten thirteen. Officer down. Officer down. Polito Bay. Polito Boulevard. Cascabel Avenue. All available units. Break and respond. Three nice, We got one suspect down as well. God damn it, they shot Bosco. They shot Bosco, really. Cocksuckers. Medic went on a route to Blue Bank. Dispatch bank is all over clear. Two four show the bank clear. Four two forty eight. Make a fucking hole. These motherfuckers. These motherfuckers. Thank you for that, you piece of shit. Lay there on your horn if you're okay. Okay. Good news is he's okay. That's the good news. I was worried there that maybe he would be harmed failing to yield to our emergency lights, slamming into our police vehicle or trying to respond to a fucking officer who'd been shot. That hipster clown, she was lucky that we have other press and business. I'd have yanked him out of that fucking shitbox myself. Sorry, fella. You're going to be a little bit late to the Death Cab for Cutie concert. Looks like your ass going to be listening to another tune. The backdoor fucking boogaloo up at state fucking prison. Fucking smash into my fucking car. Ass hat. Sorry, bill it to the state. Yep, everyone's upset. Okay, bye. Yep, all right. Yep. 
I threw a business card to you. I believe that gentleman wanted to come over and have his ass kicked. I believe he was attempting to have his ass kicked. Normally, I'm not one to deny somebody that. But again, we have other pressing matters. Boscarelli's been shot. I don't have time to fuck with that guy. Thank you, Cabby, you fucker. County Dispatch 30923. Ah, goddammit. That looks a whole hell of a lot like the fucking uh, limousine that Doyle ran down. Bosco, are you oh, okay? Yeah, yeah, he gone and busted my nose, man. Fucking pistol with me. But I got a couple rounds into him. Fucking recruit dropped him. County dispatch from 309. I'm out with a downed officer now. I'm gonna begin emergency medical. It's just my nose, man. You can send the medical Fuck unit you. in. Uh, it's gonna be clear. We're gonna have one subject down as well. Looks like gunshot wounds. No, sir. You pull that motherfucker right but back in there. One, Get out of there, Mr. Armstrong. I don't know who you think you're fucking with. You park that piece of shit, you come over okay. here now. Okay, sir. I'm not involved, sir. Yeah, I'll make that determination. Don't make me yank your fucking Kazam looking ass out of that limo. Don't play games with me. Okay, I'm coming, trooper, sir. Yes, sir. You come right in front of that police vehicle and you stand facing away. Okay, sir. Hey, Bosco, I'm gonna try to stand you up, buddy, okay? Yeah, yeah, please. Just, oh, my God, I gotta blow my nose, get all the blood out of here. Fuck. Now. How are you doing, trooper, sir? I'm doing well, Mr. Armstrong. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. I, I just got back here to grab my limousine, sir. Yep, okay. Well, you're not under arrest, Mr. Armstrong. You're being detained, sir. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against your court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at no cost by the state. You have the right to... Uh, the other guy's going to be inside the other uh, officer. You have them. the right to invoke these rights at any point in time. Do you understand your rights, sir? Yes, I do, sir. All right, Mr. Armstrong. So you said you were coming back here to get your limousine. Where were you before? Definitely wasn't I here. Was he was actually prison, on the highway. Sir? Uh, he was on the highway when we got the call. Mm -hmm. You were we at actually prison? left him. We were... Yes, sir. What were you doing at the prison, sir? I was in jail, sir. You were in jail and you came here to get back your limousine. Who had it? Yeah, yes, sir. It was uh, Trooper Doyle. Trooper Doyle had your limousine. Yes, sir. He parked it here for me, sir. Okay, because he took your ass to jail. Yes, sir. And when you got here... Was Mr. Ross already inside? Had he already assaulted or, excuse me, battered Officer ba uh, Boscarelli by that time? Or what time did you get here, sir? I'm, I'm not sure, sir, but when I got here, the officers were inside already. I didn't see or hear anything, sir. Mm-hmm. All right, Mr. So, Armstrong, I hope you're telling me the 100% truth, sir. You may go. But if something comes up or if I find out you're holding back on anything, sir, I will hunt your ball-headed ass down and toss your ass in jail. And you know I will. I understand, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. See you later, Night Court. Get out of here. Yes, sir. All right. So we had a white contender when we rolled up facing towards the gas station. Uh, they, they knew that their, their gig was up. The uh, charge towards us. Uh, right, so I shot out the, the tires. The they 1050 with another vehicle over there. It looks like the driver was actually Reginald Bigglesby. Mm -hmm. uh, blonde hair, white male adult, black leather jacket. Uh, there was another uh, unsub inside the vehicle. Uh, wasn't able to get much of a description there. But uh, we flattened all the tires. They drove off uh, westbound here on uh, Polito Boulevard. And haven't been back since. Roger that. Okay, so. we can start to slow. 
Okay. I don't know. Do you guys know anyone? We did a pursuit a couple days ago with a contender, didn't we? Same, uh, yeah. same MO. Bank robbery. Fucking extremely. They used the vehicle as a battery ram. Yeah, I do recall. Sir, are you still that. with me? So I don't know if, uh, if you guys have your record. I, I never got involved in that pursuit, so I never got like the plates or anything like that. But I, I think we ended up. Sir, are you still with me, Peter? Come on yeah. now. Let's talk uh, to Peter. See what he says. He owns a contender. Hello. Oh. Oh shit, I'm doing lots of a lot of blood. Still losing blood, man. Now, Mr. Ross, don't you don't you head off to hell just yet, sir. We have uh, questions we need to ask, okay? Cling to that life. Well, get my uh, hat on the uh, my car. You're right back. Sir, you're bleeding anywhere else that I can't see? I think you covered a lot, sir. Alright, just another sweep for you. Uh, well, oh, I got one little hole here. My man, my man in the chat. Peter is innocent, round-headed, crying eyeball guy. If there's anything right, Peter is, it's not innocent. Up. It should that be, is uh, probably the wrong be word. Gun wounds. Man, he's looking like Swiss cheese. Let's see, 13 tickets and 59 arrests. This is going to be lucky number 60 for Mr. Right Ross. Now, innocent is not well, the word the I would use. taking effect, you know. I really feel Unlucky, like maybe. Any available unit in the area, Los Santos Freeway in the Alta District, respond to a 911 call, reference unknown trouble. RP is going to be an Amber Pay. Spelling in the first is going to be common Amber. All right, well, we're going to get you stood up here, Edward. Peter. You need to handle identify and respond. Nice and to. slow. Take it easy now. Did lose a lot of blood, so. Yeah. Get on the count three. Uh, actually, one of your officers give me a hand here, too. Let him go. Yeah, sure thing, man. Okay, I'll let him go. Okay, Straight to state fucking One, prison. Two, three. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. I think you're getting up in that. Fuck, man. All you right, sprayed him Ross. good. There's blood all over the place. You must be eager to go and join the 1,000 month club, sir. Assault a fucking batter or a battery against a police officer? What the fuck's wrong with you? They came in here fucking shooting at me, man. You know, yeah, I they're the police. Choice. Well, I didn't really get much of a fucking option, you know. They came in just firing. Mm. <laughs> Would have been nice to get a one. So you figured you'd crack old Boscarella across the bridge of his nose, huh? Well, yeah, I didn't see the I didn't see the other one over there by by the teller, sir. Otherwise, I'd be straight through that door. Mm. Well, who's uh? Is that gonna be your vehicle, sir? The uh, the white contender, Peter. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, who was it that cut bait and left your ass here to take the fall all by your lonesome? Was that Mr. Bigglesby in that truck? No comment. No comment, huh, Peter? No comment? Yes, sir. I think you better start thinking about comment. Otherwise, your ass going to be a long time till we see you again. Uh, you found down. No, we knew we weren't going to get shit out of Peter. No, uh, we'll do now. Let's be honest. Okay. He never gives a shit on anybody right, else. Mr. Ross, he always, he'll give anything himself on you up. Should know give about a, anything illegal. That's going to probably put Now, that being me. said, I did not Mirandize Peter um, to try to get him to give us some information on the other parties. Now, looks like that nose is uh, we weren't going to use anything broken against a couple him times already. Before. Oh, yeah. Same time, though, like I said, that son of a bitch is tight lipped as they come. He you imagine you're us, easy anywhere else, or just knock you out? Route to Sandy Shore, that's so you wouldn't be with a shit. Oh well. Sorry, what uh, was that, Matt? Like I said, he owns a, he owns. Oh, uh, did he uh, just punch you square in the face, knock you out, or what? Yeah. Um, it's probably going to be his vehicle. Bosco seems pretty damn sure it was. Is that Bigglesby right there? That's Bigglesby right there, guaranteed. We're turning to the fucking scene. Look at that. Now, what are the odds? A guy matching Bosco's po -po. description. Popo! Popo! Trooper! Trooper, sir! Yes, Police. Mr. Armstrong, what is it, sir? Hey, follow this road behind me. There is a man lying on the ground there. He okay. claims he was run into by Buddha. Alright. No, 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 no. This Mr. Way, Armstrong, this way. shut the fuck up! Now, Reggie, you can keep running like that, sir, and I'll just keep following you here, or I can step out and tase your ass. Which one you choose? 
do you mean? What's wrong? You're being detained, sir. That's what's going on. Turn around. What do you mean, she? Put your hands behind your back, palms together. You ain't under arrest. Make that clear. I'm gonna snatch his ass up before he gets too fucking far away. Ah. We'll go and deliver him over to Oscar Bo Officer Boscarelli. Guarantee what y'all want to bet that the contender's somewhere down this fucking road stashed off somewhere. Probably in that little hippie enclave or up there behind the gas station or some shit. Wherever he could find to ditch it out with four busted ass tires, he wasn't going to be going so far. Why they come back, I don't know. It's funny as fuck to me. Adam 1 from 309 Direct. Adam 1, send over. Brought you a present, Officer Boss, really. Mr. Uh, Bigglesby, this is Officer Bosgarelli. Officer Bosgarelli, Mr. Bigglesby. Mr. Mr. Bigglesby. Uh, uh, Officer Bosgarelli, another individual he's, down he's, uh, just around the corner over there. Yeah, I know. Medic, Mr. you headed Slater. over there. Mr. Armstrong seems very concerned. Yep. All right, Mr. Bigglesby, Mr. you Bigglesby. be nice now to Mr. Bosgarelli. You want to tell me? I will, sir. He's a nice man. You want to tell man. me anything now, sir, about anything before the police work starts? You look very good today. Okay. Very nice. I like that hat. Very slimming. All right now. All right. So Reggie, do you? Yes, where did you pick him up at a clothing store? Nope. He was jogging right the fuck by here. Saw his ass and snatched so, him up. All right. Yeah, I think uh, the, the the contender's got to be in the area then. I would think so. But anyways, all right, <clears throat> Mr. Rigglesby. So uh, I'm not yes, too sure sir. if uh, Trooper Eli's or Trooper Thompson's uh, right to your rights. So I'm gonna go ahead and do so right now. You have the right to remain silent. He say cannon will be used against you. In the well then. Uh, yeah, sir. Hit by the vehicle. All right, now let's get one ten. How's your pain right now? Uh, just two two. It's just low blood sugar, man. Mm-hmm. So low, low blood sugar. Get some stage issues. Yeah, maybe diabetic or there, something. Mr. Slater. Let Whoa, the, the good doctor do getting... his. What? Ow. Was that? Nothing, sir. Uh, nothing, it sounded sir. like you were saying. It sounded like you were about to say something. I don't want to deprive you. What was you? What were you about to say? Why, why, why do I have the handcuffs on me, sir? I just got laying Buddha. Buddha tried to hit me. Mm. That's his car right there, and he clipped clipped my leg. Just fucking fell. Low blood sugar today. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, fall out of the. Uh, I believe it was glycerin gel. Uh, here, I'm just gonna yeah. get this orange juice box, and I mean you're cuffed now, so I'm just gonna put the straw in your mouth. Edward okay. Charles Henry. Straw, dude, uh, fucking like for like Eight, orange three, juice three. or something. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I always got packs of orange juice. You never know. I always nice. run out of diabetics. Capri, Capri Suns are good too. Okay, Slater. Okay, go. I'm. I gotta go, but go remember me. Up. Armstrong's limousine. Right. Okay, <laughs> remember me. Yeah, what's your name again, Mr. man? Mr. Armstrong, trying to get Armstrong. a customer. Armstrong, Armstrong, the limousine yeah, trying driver. Trying to get a customer out of it, yo. He's hustling. Thanks. He's like, hey, you I know you're hurt. I'm gonna run away. When I know you're hurt. You right. got hit by a car, but hey, remember me. I, I, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. You mm -hmm. see it? Oh my God. I hope you'll be fine. You'll be fine, bro. Don't look like it's Mr. Blue's car at all. Alright, now finish up that orange juice. Get your blood sugar's back to uh, at least normal level. Now... I don't know nah, if I there you go, get it in. Dude, it's so much better. Okay, yeah. I do blood not pressure's so know if I better believe now. him. Blood sugar, I mean, not blood pressure. Yeah, good to hear. You no longer feeling not lightheaded or anything like that? Um, nope. No, just, just had a rough, a rough day, you know. Just walking around the, down the sidewalk and Lang Buddha tries to hit me and clips my leg, hits the vehicle, and then runs Let's off. Check this one, too. He doesn't like me. One through the dash. All right, just going to put a cuff on your arm here. We're going to check blood pressure real quick. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Ooh. Easy rod, easy rod. Okay. Uh, 117 over yeah. 70. That's pretty decent. Is that good? 
Oh yeah, that's average. That's good, yeah. Okay, nice. I love the docks. Yeah, we're gonna check your pupils now. Yep, make no right mistakes. Right. And with the new medical system coming, like we're gonna need all the medical training and everything else. Right. But old boy's saying he's fine. Like he just needs to be healthy enough to make it to the prison infirmary. Just get around him. Okay, pupils look good. A baby in him. Temporary. All right, we're gonna do. Uh, get you stood up here. Right. Move this so ship nice and easy now on the count of three. One. Is it stable? Three. Yes. Uh, Does it have life-threatening injuries? No. Oh, can he make it to jail undead? Well, good Tom, to go you then. Can, you can. Uh, thank you again, man. Mr. Paramedic guy. Concerned. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I don't think I ever caught your name either. What's your name? Uh, Ted Rath. Ted. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the orange juice. Sorry for being no a dick to you earlier. Again. Oh, yeah. no, it's, it's, it's totally all right. It's true. Wait, so I can be a dick to um, you? But again, in the no, future iterations... No, I just don't take offense to uh, it no they more. They added blood... Um, so if oh, you get okay, a, yeah, if no, you get cool. wounded or hurt, makes sense. you'll slowly bleed to death if you don't seek uh, medical attention. Like yeah, broken bones first time you and shit, this, all kinds uh, of stuff kind of they call the advanced medical sugar. system. They added that for the EMTs um, and the doctor yeah, jobs and actually, shit like yeah, that. So, the first time. I mean, I know their training is more extensive than just morning. the one thing, you know, the oh, command yeah. or whatever. Uh, so I get that, but really like I said, at the same time, I don't care. Buy a vehicle that like that was. Let him let him fix his ass up in jail. He'll have all the time in the world. We end up sending his ass to jail. They can yeah, doctor and have shock. baby mm -hmm. him all they want. Get him a nice single cell, padded walls and, your, uh, and your shit, no uh, blank intake. Make sure that you, uh, if this does become a common thing, then you might have to start uh, talking to your doctor about possibly having diabetes. Definitely. Yo, do you, do you guys, did you guys well, get Krims a be able to buy medical kits? That's the thought. Um, the, also, we're thinking... Uh, I haven't well, seen... Well, this was uh, around about a job uh, like a... Gerald, yeah, if no. you work in the medical well, field, you. you know, as a legit citizen, he you could double, Tuesday, like... So. You'd increase your medical skill tree, tree so you could Maybe. do side job, like, you could yeah, yeah, be, yeah, like, yeah. basically an underworld-type doctor. All right. Which I Thank thought was you, real buddy. cool. I appreciate it, Ted. Not a problem. Hi, Trooper Eli. He's all yours now. All right, boss. Uh, well, 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 well. All mine, he says. You got anything on you I need to know about, Mr. Slater? I'll, you know me, sir. I don't carry anything. I don't carry any weapons anymore, sir. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell me exactly what happened now? All right. I was just walking down, and there's like a... There was like gunshots happening at the bank. I was just walking yeah, down see, the road. Yeah, see, my boy says, underground doctor could be a veterinarian. Yeah, see? Hey, motherfucker! How cool would that? I get hit. How cool would that he be? Swerves. I was walking down here, and he swerves and clips my leg, and then he runs into that little brown thing right there. And I feel the, the ground. He gets out and runs off. Yeah, yeah. Is that a fire hydrant? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See how it says S A F D on it? Oh, oh yeah. Hey, Trooper yeah, Thompson, there. Yes, sir. You uh, want some of this petroleum jelly, or are you just gonna go in there raw? Um, we're thinking maybe spit, budget cuts. Alright, 10 for it. Roger. Appreciate the offer, man. No problem. Anyway, sorry about that, Mr. Slater. Um, so, uh, you're just yeah. walking along in this area, minding your own business, and all of a sudden you're, Oh, hey, motherfucker! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh! And then he tries to, he's trying to take yeah. you out. Ends up striking this fire hydrant, and then... What, he clipped you trying to strike the fighter hydrant, knocked you back, and then where'd he go? He swerved to hit me uh, and clipped my leg, hit the fire hydrant, he got out, and he says, Fuck you, motherfucker! And then he goes and runs down uh, behind us, down the road. Mm. So. What brings you into this area, sir? Um. I was just chilling. I haven't checked the, the Polito Beach in a while. I was actually just chilling at the beach. Bullshit. All right, sir. Well, you're not under arrest. You're being detained. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You cannot afford one. One will be appointed to you by the state at no charge. You have the right to have the, your attorney present while you're being questioned. You have the right to invoke these rights at any point in time. Do you understand your rights, sir? Yes, sir. I do understand, sir. All right, Mr. Slater. So this is where we're at, sir. You said you came down here to go to the beach. Where is your vehicle at, sir? Uh... I, I I'm going to caution one. you, Mr. Slater. Sure. I'm going to caution you, sir. You are right now headed down a dark, dark road. 
at the end of that road will be two things. A smiling me holding a pair of handcuffs and state fucking prison. If you think I'm some kind of a fucking fool, you are wrong. You're going to end up in there for a hundred fucking months. That's a long time, sir. You better start saying some shit that makes sense, Mr. Slater, before I stomp a uh, fucking mud hole in your ass, sir. 309, Adam 1, direct. Ah, uh, fuck. Send it. Um, 309, Christian Adam 1, were you able to find on, that uh, white contender? Negative. I took the medical call. I'm out with that. Oh, uh, uh, he was running from fuck, the area dude. of the large run station. That's my call. Um, Damn it. So he's likely going to I hate when you do this there. to me. It's not cool. <laughs> Mr. Slater, I didn't do it to you, sir. You did it to yourself. That's what you need to understand. Nothing you're saying make any fucking sense at all. Your ass lives in Sandy Shores. You ain't got no fucking reason to be here. I don't see any one of your obnoxious ass fucking vehicles that you drive around that are so fucking obviously yours. We got a car here that's wrecked the fuck out, that's returning as a fucking stolen, and your goofy ass laid out right fucking next to it. Unfortunate yeah, for you, one of the la 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 lean boys was just involved in a bank robbery, not even a fucking stone's throw from here. And why would Mr. Buddha be over here trying to murder you and bring heat down on their bank job, knowing that Peter was in there robbing the fucking bank? Doesn't make any fucking sense. We knew from the dick tip that it was your fucking car, son. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, don't fuck yourself. You play yourself out here, get up, end up getting dealt I'm with. I know, I should... Dude, that was the first time I've lied to you in a long time, Trooper Thompson. I'm sorry. How'd it it's go? My car. Fucking shitty. Yes, sir. Maybe, uh... You're under arrest for you know. possession of a stolen vehicle. I'm searching your ass. 33... Negative $33. Six things of vodka. Three repair kits, 61 beef jerky, 21... Well, 41 cigarettes. Party! Dang it. Now I'm about to get up in this car, boy. Make no mistake. I'm about to get up in here, and I will rip God, this son of a bitch apart. On, Thompson. Mr. Slater, Trooper. first of all, my first name is Trooper. Last name is Thompson, and Sorry. I prefer to be dressed as such. Second, sir, I'm not the one out here acting a fool. I'm just out here doing my goddamn job. So if you want to get honest before I start doing what I'm going to do, then this is your chance. Otherwise, I'm about to fucking get down, boy. The music is already playing. I'm about to hit the dance floor. All right. <laughs> it's doing a fucking... Got illegal drugs in there, sir. Oh, oh my America. God. To make mo I owe money to people. A lot of money to a lot of people. Shame sir. on you, Zach Morris, out here trafficking the devil's fucking lettuce. Don't call me Zach Morris, God damn man, jazz that's... cabbage. Now then, let's yeah, get at that nice. reefer, shall we? Let's see how much you got in here, son. Fuck. Damn it, man. I don't want to go to jail. Oh, too much, too many people, too much money. Mm-hmm. This is and a good way of earning license. it. So let's see, you're out. Whatever you pay for this shit box. Whatever you pay for the dope. Go, it's working well as a money-making enterprise, for sure. Now, normally it's going to be down in the wheel well. Uh, sometimes they'll hide it in the door panels, things like that. Three kilos of jazz cabbage, boy. Look at you. Danny Slater, Kingpin. <laughs> Kingpin, I'm just trying to make some money, you know. Mm-hmm. You sure as hell are. I was honest, though, sir. Yes, you I mean, were. You know, I didn't. Oh, you know, that's always a plus. Yep, yep. So, in exchange I'm, for the I'm honesty, we're going to shave the time. We're going to reduce the fine. Actually, we'll waive the fine and reduce the time, all right? As is the policy. My policy. Sounds good, sir. 
You tried to go down that stupid fucking road you was headed down, guarantee you, son, you would have fucking dangled on this one. Had you dead to fucking rights. I know, sir. You may told you you're too good at your job. No, sir. That give me some more time off. Well, you're too good at your job. What do I get for for, for that compliment? Uh, I don't know, sir. I'll have to let uh, the powers that be up at the state police know that you're so satisfied with my police service. Pass that along. See if I can't get that tucked into my fitness report. County Dispatch 309. I'm going to have one subject, 1095. Show me 76 to the Polito Bay Sheriff for uh, processing and booking. Got him, chat. Got him. So, I mean, that's a perfect example. You know, when people ask questions about how, why we do what we do here, he had a story ready to go. He tried to blame Mr. Buddha, of all people. But nothing he was saying made sense, Chet. Like, you, what if you, I told you, you have that to the do the police work. Personal use. I'd tell you that uh, above eight ounces, sir, you'd still be going to jail. Plus three individually packaged kilos. Yeah. Looks a whole hell of a lot like intent to distribute to me. Do you want to talk yourself into some more of that jail time with, with, with the personal use garbage? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm, I'm done trying to yeah, I so get sorry, it. Sir. But on the other flip side of things, um, to the extent I should have been man, it was we a got police a officer house. and pistol whipping him. Jesus, Eli, you bring in one too? Holy yeah, I got fuck. me one, dude. God damn, fishing's plentiful to get big mouth bass all uh, over the lake. But that, the, the you can't <laughs> so, just take you know, his fucking like statement. Like I'm saying, I'm articulating that value. past event. You have to um, use you know, everything you got, all the facts, you, you do like all the fucking police work, that's the route you need every to go, single then thing. Sure. If we just skipped a step there, he'd have gotten away with that shit, and maybe Mr. Buddha would be the one being looked for right now, instead of I his mean, dirty ass. But he was trying to frame Mr. Buddha. I was None of the facts supported yeah. that it was Buddha that tried to hurt him. Yeah, what was, uh, uh, his what story was, was absolute shorts fucking shorts garbage. He was pistol we Mirandized him. his ass once we saw the first inconsistency. Oh, I have no idea. The and first then we time went I back after he was Mirandized and we attacked the, 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 the inconsistency, chat. That's how you do that. That is how you fucking do it. Welcome back. Is that my brother? Reggie! Oh, Jesus. Oh, y'all brothers? I could see it. Y'all make yes, similar Some brothers choices. just look very similar. Mm. It was striking resemblance. He did try to lie first. All right, Mr. Slater, so this is going to be your charges, sir. Possession of a stolen vehicle, possession of narcotics with intent to distribute, failure to report an accident. You know what? We're going to get rid of that. We'll get rid of that one. How about reckless yes. driving? All right. Now, I'm going to knock the, the time down from the maximum, which would be about 60 minutes, anywhere from 45 to, to 60 months is what we're in the, in the ballpark with, especially if we'd have had to add – uh, obstruction of justice and supplying false information, you'd be well into the 75-month, 80-month territory. You hear me? Oh, shit. We're going to knock yes, it down sir. to 20 months to reward that honesty because you finally did get honest eventually. Okay? Don't you fuck with me again. If I show up, you tell me the truth right from the fucking dick tip. Don't you fucking play games with me. You're just going to end up embarrassing yourself and adding a whole shitload more time. All right. I figured I tried and it didn't work, so yeah, probably. What'd you learn? Lie anymore to you? Nothing. I learned to not not fucking lie to you. Not smart. It's almost a costly ass lesson. Oh, look at that! They made it so the text wraps. That's nice. Now I can see what the fuck you're typing. Oh, hallelujah! Thank you, powers that be. Thank the almighty architect sitting in his office with about a thousand computer screens tapping on his pen. Thank you. 
Finally. Now we're going to have that on there, uh, the reckless, because there was a motor vehicle accident. I want that to be in the record. We ain't going to charge him for it, though, like time-wise. All right, sir, about to get your ass on up to state prison, okay? All right, sir. All right, Mr. Slater, please I, make better I, choice. Wait, hold on. One second, can I can I finish, you know, you know, after you, you know, name my clothing and shit, can I say the last part, you know, a part you like to say often? Can I say it? Come on. I'm oh, you know what? Sir. Why not, Mr. Slater? You know, I, that, I'll that. i let okay, you do okay. that, okay? So I'll give you the signal right when it's time, okay? Sounds good, sir. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. County Dispatch 309, request an immediate transport to uh, Bolenbrook State Prison. Going to be a number two male, about six feet tall, 190 pounds, weird green and yellow tank top, like matching fucked up kind of like plaid like you know fraternity trust fund baby shorts like flip flops of course shaggy long fucking hair uh i don't know what do we got here and, and some looks like some women's sunglasses maybe he's wearing later on dude <laughs> fuck do you think this is some kind of fucking game show is that what it is he thought maybe he was on the bachelor or something can i can i say that very in part fuck you dude go the fuck to jail your felonious ass selling dope on the street and shit do anything for you get the fuck on out of here you luck out wave the fine and reduce the time you fucking banana head take your ass to jail Take your ass to jail. Later on, dude. Later the fuck on. Fuck <laughs> That's funny shit, man. That's some funny shit. If y'all don't know, that's Gilly Guy TV. Uh, he plays, obviously, uh, Danny Slater. The fucking guy is hilarious. The fucking guy's hilarious, y'all. He, honestly, like, when I ain't working, I, I like going by there. He... Keeps me in stitches, for sure. For sure. Fucking guy's hilarious. Y'all should check him out if you got time. Now, he's going to be adding to the counter here. We got two felonies, one misdemeanor, stolen vehicle recovery, and three kilos of dope, y'all. We got numbers in the dope column. We in the black. Thank God. We goose egg. We goose egg last shift. Actually, the last two shifts, I think, we goose egg on dope. I'm pretty positive we did. Either way, we're up on it now. Three fucking kilos. Solid seizure. Especially off some banana-headed-ass garbage of him driving like a goofy fool. Oh, well. Oh, well. Life is tough. And it's tougher if you're dumb. I saw somebody put that quote in the chat. That was one of my favorite John Wayne quotes of all time. It's tougher if you're a fucking dumb. Capital D fucking dumb, boy. Be out here running dope with me and Doyle both on shift. What the fuck are you thinking? What the fuck are you thinking? It's a great way to end up in fucking lockup. One of us is going to get you. One of us is going to get your ass. It's a matter of which one you want. You want salt or you want pepper? You want ketchup or you want mustard? Okay, good shit. We're good to go. County Dispatch 309. Mark me back in service. 10439, 1525. Dispatch Medic 1, she'll be 1042. Couple hours. Have a good night, everyone. Later on, buddy. 1525. We'll head over here to the gas station. We're going to go back up on Sonora. Push that way south of Braddock Pass uh, in that area where uh, Doyle saw those cars that were hauling ass earlier. Try to do a little bit of traffic enforcement there. Uh, we're probably going to have mixed success. 
All the love in the world to the CVPI. She's not exactly a gazelle. At least, at least the ones we have. Not, ex not exactly a runner. Especially not if somebody's going to have a goddamn spaceship. What are you... Gonna be fucking stealing jet aircraft and shit to do like 240 miles a fucking hour. I don't even know. I don't know. Like I said, we will have probably mixed bag success wise, but you know, we'll do we'll do the police work, the due diligence. What we lack up in raw speed, we will make up for in sheer commitment and purpose. I guess old Boscarelli was able to break uh, Bigglesby. Good for him. Good for him. I know Ross wasn't going to give up shit. Say what you will about Peter Ross. Dangerous sociopath. The son of a bitch is loyal as hell. He's loyal as hell. You, you ain't going to get him to do nothing. He'd rather do the fucking time every minute. He'd rather do every minute of it than say one fucking thing. And he will, too, and he has. He's had some serious fucking time and taken it on the chin and not said shit. So, good on Boscarelli for uh, breaking Bigglesby. Otherwise, I don't know, uh, unless Bosco was damn sure that he uh, that he did see Bigglesby, he would have been pretty goddamn tough to tie his ass besides his ass being in the area running around like a fool. Coming back to the goddamn scene of the crime. Good old Mr. Bigglesby. Uh, will we be doing anything with the Army base? We're trying to figure out a way to do some stuff like that. Um, right now, I mean, as it stands, the Army base... We'll see. You know what I mean? Uh, we shall see. It, it just it just all depends. You know what I mean? Like, if, in, in terms of access to the Army base, we used to not really care if people went up there and whatever else, but then we had you know uh i remember the day that that became a big fucking no-no we had a guy running around with a goddamn light machine gun in a in stolen vehicles and every single time we would try to hop out on this son of a bitch he would pull out with a fucking saw and just fucking spray everybody like i think he ended up downing or, or shooting something like 13 or, or 14 police officers until finally we were like enough of this shit like what the fuck is going on plus like anybody that ever been on a military base before you try to actually go on a regular military base I try to go on to Fort Hood saunter in there to the fucking armory and walk on out of there with a fucking 240 or a 249 see how many times your ass gets shot in the mouth guarantee you be closed fucking casket they bury what's left of your ass in a matchbook they would bury your ass in a matchbook Yep, good fucking luck. Good luck. But some people were dead up and they were they were adamant about it. They're like, oh, that ain't that ain't fair. I'm RPing that I signed it out from the that I went into the armory and tricked them into giving it to me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Tricked them into giving it to you, huh? You know what? With as hard as I, I guarantee you there's actual soldiers that have problems with those boys that in terms of signing those weapons in and fucking out. And your ass is going to wander in in like fucking a, a banana costume or fucking suspenders with a stupid spinning bow tie and a, and a dumbass look on your face and you're going to trick that fucking guy into giving you a machine gun? Doubt it. Doubt the fuck out of that. Maybe I'm a pessimist. But I doubt that shit. That was a goddamn murder machine. Yep. Murder machine. Loose over by the dope farm. What do you want to bet he get? What do y'all want to bet he gets him a doper or two? What do y'all want to bet we end up with a medical call coming out there? Because that murder kitty gets him a doper or two. I bet you that shit will happen. They'll be mad as hell too. Mad as hell. Murder Kitty's on the prowl. 
Murder Kitty is on the fucking prowl. Those fucking things, they're on you in no time. Fast as shit. Yeah, so we'll see. In terms of the, of the base and stuff, we'll see. Right now, it just doesn't make much sense. And, you know, maybe that's just because we, we have people that abuse it in the past or it's just difficult to really find a way for, for folks that, that, that could RP something like that. You know, because maybe it starts out where, like, they're RPing, like, checking IDs or some shit at the gate or, you know, maybe they're, they're making Logi runs. We did think about doing logistics runs in and out of the base where you could sign up to do that and, br and bring them supplies and stuff. Um, and then you get the uniform and obviously the truck is, the, ah, get out of here. Uh, and stuff like that. But like I said, it, uh, it rapidly spiraled out of control. We shall see, though. It's a good question. A lot of people ask that question. I wouldn't mind seeing it if somebody could do it right and not, not uh, be foolish. So my man says they, they should make a heist or something where you get... Uh, where you get weapons from the base. Mm, agree and disagree. Again, um, if someone was to attack a military base, you, I mean, just, you're going to get fucked up. Like, you better be bringing a, a, a small army or you better be ninja as fuck. And I mean, like, Tom Clancy, the... You know, splinter cell fucking ninja. Not like regular, not even regular ninjas could probably pull it off. Smoke bombs and ninja stars and shit are not gonna they, like that. That will not negate the, the the hell that is that it will be upon you. Make no mistake, especially if the, the goal is to actually escape with the weapons, like get in and escape. Even sons of bitches that go in there trying that kind of garbage, and they're just like, you know what? I, I like I don't care if they kill me. I'm just going to try to kill as many as possible. The entire base just it turns on you. It fights you like a like the immune system. Like the whole base just white blood cells just coming out of nowhere just whipping that fucking ass. There was some shit in the news like a year or maybe two years ago. These two boys that uh, had this bright idea of uh, trying to bust through the gate at one of the DIA uh, bases or something like that. I believe it was the, the Joint Air Force Base in D.C. They tried to hit the gate and before they even got to the gate, both of those sons of bitches were shot like 40 some, forty plus times. The car looked like Swiss fucking cheese. I think it's one of those things that in somebody's mind's eye they see like this grandiose plan playing out and in reality the, the D.I.A. boys were like, oh thank God, we've been we ain't never actually got a chance to use this fucking machine gun. It's, gra it's gathering dust. Oh, look. Two assholes. Bop, 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 bop. I'm like, the fuck are you thinking? That being said, like I said with the skill trees, you, you'll be able to buy uh, different kinds of weapons if you have a weapon skill that's high enough. So anybody who's familiar with the legal acquisition of automatic weapons or, or military style weapons uh it can be done legally uh you have to obtain a class three or a class four firearms license from the out uh, the bureau of alcohol tobacco and firearms and then you can buy them as a collector uh, and store them and then obviously you have yearly inspections and uh dues and every fucking thing else you have to pay to go along with the license and stuff but it is legal like there there is a way to do it correctly so basically the RP would be that, you know, if you get a weapon skill that's high enough, you could realistically ap apply for that kind of license and then you could obtain those kinds of weapons. And we think that's a, probably a better way of doing it than having some kind of a heist where you hit the goddamn military base. Just, I mean, you know, the fuck you thinking? The fuck you thinking? I was talking to somebody, I can't remember how long ago it was, we were having a debate, and uh, he was telling me about how the, the uh, some some bank somewhere, Reserve Bank or something like that, has like, he's like, he has better security systems than uh, Fort Knox. 
Like the security systems are way newer and like more badass. And I was like, all right. And he was like, so you know, technically, like Fort Knox needs like an upgrade because you know their 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 systems not so good. Da 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 da. da. And I was just thinking to myself, like, are you discounting the fact that it, there are literally thousands of trained killers? that you also have to fight through, they could have a security system that was a string attached to a fucking bell at Fort Knox. And you probably still wouldn't make it out. That It could be like a string attached to one guy's toe and you still probably would not make it. Like that's, what are you, how are you doing that exactly? What are you thinking? Like, I'm, I'm sure they have some really cool shit we have no idea about. Well, that sucks. Some really cool shit we don't even know about that I probably could have, you know, if I designed the system or some shit. But then again, I'm just like, like it could be almost anything. It could be just like some, some pieces of broken glass in the doorway wakes up one fucking guy and then enjoy battling your way out of there. I mean, if your goal is to get away with the gold bullion alive, good luck. Good luck to you. So we're gonna set up here with our stalker unit right quick and just see what we see. So we can see anybody coming and going. The delivery lot is oddly vacant. We're gonna continue with our patrol route, our circuit. Check out the car dealership, gather intel. Find out who's moving, who's, a, who's awake, who's asleep. Yeah, my man says, bottle on the doorknob, like in the movie Conspiracy. Yeah, man. Yeah. When the cause, and people that have been throwing bones into the war chest, y'all. We're going to war. Make no fucking mistake. Make no mistake at all. We out here busting heads. We out here busting fucking heads. Like I said, much love to the SOE partners, the SOE family. 451, I'm going to be 10. And uh, the Eli Davis, Army. McDonald's family Street. up, Army up. Love y'all. Code three. I don't know if all right then. Well. I've known Fincone for a long time. To me the tone. Second one, two ten three six two Davis McDonald for us is four fifty one and ten ten. I'm pretty beat up. They're going to be fleeing northwest from me up uh, Davis Avenue. We got an EMS available. Medic 1 just went 10 7. Uh, 309's in the area. 10 4. It's going to be a gang related assault. I think they were looking for street cred. Oh, okay. 10 4. Going to be Adam Ida. That's right. Oh shit. They hopped out on door. Son of a bitch. They hopped out on my fucking boy. Dispatch David 2010. We're hunting these 10, sons 10, 10, of bitches 41. down. 309-1023. Which way they go? They ran up that way, up that way. The 12. They hooked it right around the block. What they look like? One of them had a white shirt on. I knocked his fucking little black hat off. Both mm. of them number one males in their 30s. Roger that. They're going to be ducked off in an alleyway. Bags of shit. Think they can put hands on Doyle? Ain't nobody going to do shit. They're just going to run off. County dispatch 309. Homie out code 6 in the area. Uh, Bolo is going to be for two number one males. going to be... Uh, 20s, maybe early 30s, gonna be running. One's gonna be uh, wearing a white colored t shirt, possibly gonna be George Flag individuals. Last scene gonna be uh, fleeing northwest from the 451's current position, Davis McDonald. 104309, 1552. Oh, where, oh, where are the ass hats at? Yeah, locals are not. Locals or not, we don't tolerate that shit at all. Zero. 
Zero fucking percent. We see a couple of boys like squirting out of that neighborhood, matching that description. We're gonna we're gonna hop out on those sons of bitches. We're gonna hop out on them. Doyle's a man of the people. They tried that shit over here on us. Remember we pulled the stick out when it worked. Twenty dispatch. Go ahead, David Twenty. Doyle probably didn't want to hurt Ten thirty eight westbound Great Ocean Highway. Uh, it's gonna be the transfer from Sonora to Great Ocean coming into Polito. It's gonna be on a Glendale license plate, Quebec, Sierra Oscar, two five three, occupied two time, erratic driving. We know that car. Temple, hold you out on a ten thirty eight plate, Queen Sam Ocean, two five three, Queen Sam Ocean, two five three, timestamp's gonna be fifteen fifty three. Y'all remember that plate we ran? That's gonna be that shitty ass blue fucking what the fuck it's with those other two idiots. Dick Hertz and uh, Sylvester Von Otter, that's the same fucking shitbox that they were pushing. 451, I'll be en route to the hospital. 10 4, 50, 54. We can go up to the hospital with our boy. Make sure he's okay. You ain't find them hood rats? I uh -uh. guarantee they ducked off in some trap house, man. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably beat feet after that. What happened? They, just, they hit your car and then, uh... Yeah, so I don't know if it was a targeted incident. Some bitch hit the rear of my car, jumped out, tried to yank me out of my car, and then his homeboy come in the other way. Both of them rolling on me hard, man. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. I was barely able to get the 1010 out on the radio. You should have seen I was grabbing from my ass. I mm. fucking pulled out my flashlight on accident. Fuck it, it's flashlight time. Yeah, flashlight time. time. Yep, that's what I was saying. Flash go, go to work. Flashlight fucking time. That boy got it right to the fucking face. But I'm telling you, the sons of bitches kept getting up, man. They give a fuck. Oh, yeah, they're tough. They're tough in that area. What was it? Grove Street Family Boys or those other fellas? Nah, these was some... I don't see these boys too often. They, they was wearing a little bit of yellow, but they were so mm. neutral affiliated. Boys had on black caps and tan caps and all types of fucking weird shit. They ain't the same mm. no more. Yeah, right there. So many the, subsets falling under other ones. Yeah, you're right, man. Right there's the Devil's Triangle too, boy, because you got Grove Street family. Uh huh. Uh, then you have them other boys uh, that actually on Grove Street wear purple. Grove Street family up on Forum wearing the green. And you got your uh, your Vagos Locos down farther uh, in the Jamestown area. Those sons of bitches have the the black and the gold, and they're just as dangerous as anything else. But they're all right in that uh -huh. area. Uh huh. They don't give a fuck around here no more. They'll yank you out. Mm. Like, I ain't even had time to hit my fucking lights on, man. It, it evolved quick. Mm-hmm. I think it's the the ballers. Can't call it, but you'd know if it was those. Like, they, they're yeah, head to toe. Went, yeah. And that's why, you know, I thought it was the, the, the Vagos motherfuckers, yeah. but they, they wasn't wearing enough yellow. They didn't have, they didn't even look Hispanic. They fell under a different set. Mm-hmm. Well, at least they lit out and, like, you're all right. The 1038, See, they dinged your car and all. Temple. 1556. Yeah, I'm gonna just give me a quick checkup, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. give, me, give me back on my fighting feet. Ah, damn, we got some fucking car. Oh, I just got a text. Hold on, let's see. Some Lambo. Black left Los Santos going north on Los Santos Freeway very, very fast. That's gonna be one of my reliables. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you see we can look at license again when we, uh, if we, if it gets pushed around too fast and all their sh personal shit? You can or you can't? You can. You just press, you, you press your little, your little T, pull it out of your pocket, and you just, you start checking it. You can hit the up keys, but bring it up in your computer. Oh, no shit. You're just using it. Yeah, if you, oh. you go on your computer and you press T. Look at that. Wonders, wonders abound. Yeah, they put that the MDT update put out that last one, so it's good to go now. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I hear you. All right, my man, get a uh, get some ice yeah. on it. Make sure you're okay. Yeah. 
Get back Give me out some there. Tylenol. Yeah, get some Tylenol. I'm gonna be lingering around here. These fucking hood rats. <laughs> See, they made him mad. They done fucked up. They done fucked up now. They made him mad. They made him mad. That's what you don't want. Like old boy the other day, I don't know if y'all was watching uh, Fincone's stream. Old boy uh, a few days back, it was last week sometime, maybe early in the week, late shift. Old Doyle's working graveyard with uh, Dazzler. They get a fucking 1090. He shows up there, and I believe old boy had a fucking Widowmaker and tags Doyle in the vest as soon as he comes in, takes him off his feet. That son of a bitch broke the record for jail time, got over 1,200 months in jail. Do not go after Fincon. <laughs> Don't go after Fincon. He will get that ass. Okay, so this guy's supposed to be a CI. He just said to everybody on, like, who could, everybody could see that. Do my text to 911 work? Well, yep. They sure do. Mr. Rawls fucking with him. Oh, they're over there fucking with those boys off the road. Unit. So you're seeing your chat moving up and down. That's right. If you're having issues with it, you can try to page up, page down on your MDT. Might fix it. Page up. That's cool though, being able to scroll and all. I was just making sure that ticket didn't go through twice. Good on him. That's pretty funny though. Hey, are y'all getting my confidential messages? I just wanted to check to see if the, the messages I'm sending are going through or not. Why don't, you know what, why don't we duck in here? We've got a couple of vehicles parked here. We'll Dispatch of David 20 out with an abandoned vehicle on Polito plates. Boulevard right before the petrol station by the bank. Let's see what's what. Down for 1601. David 20, dispatch. It'll be 1038 on a back uh, license plates removed up over by the bank in Polito. It's going to have no headlights. Can I get an additional unit? That's going to be the... That's going to be the fucking... Let that sound. Dispatch it here up at the bank. We're going to have extended ETA time. 1043. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I heard him. And yeah, we all saw Holy him leaning shit, all funny a like that. fucking feral cat. We gonna get these plates. Vehicles is randomly parked. Some of them fucked up. Various states of disrepair. Hmm. 451 traffic. 451. Hold me out on the uh, south side of the paint shop. It's gonna be with a pink car. Uh, stand by for a plate. We'll be out on Innocent Boulevard, south side of the paint shop. Lincoln, That's Lincoln, Mary, day. one, two, four. My booty feels exceptionally voluptuous today. Ten, four. Lincoln, Lincoln, Mary, like one, really two, sexy. four. Hold you out with that vehicle. A little bit saucy. Ooh la la. Reginald Bigglesby, everybody. That, and that's going to be Sir Pinkleton. Again, uh, another member of the SOE family does Reginald. Goddamn hilarious. The guy's fucking hysterical. 
fucking hysterical. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time right now to be chatting with him about his butt cheeks or, or whatever else. Okay, see? Yeah, see, I don't know. I guess he just stepped out to have a cigarette. And now he is, for whatever reason, thought maybe it's better to get back in my bright pink supercar and leave. We're gonna go back up door. I ain't run that plate yet, but if he's making a stop, probably because somebody's up to some nefarious shit. Especially with him fresh off of uh, trading hands with them gang members. Might make him feel a little bit happy that we're, uh, we got his back. County Dispatch 309. Abby is a card with uh, 451. Gonna be out. Innocence and Carson. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, you treated me all right, so I ain't got no crimes. Yeah. You're a nice person, Trooper Doyle. Don't do yeah, the crimes. Totally you can't nice. do the time, you know. That's what I say. Hey, Eli, we're going to have it occupied four times. Uh, Miss Pate changed her hair Dispatch color now. Threw me for a loop. Oh, no point. shit. Dispatch David 20. Man. It's going to be a she ain't uh, blonde no more. vehicle hair. God yeah. damn. No, it's a vehicle no, party. party. So it seems. That is going on. Dispatch one, two ten seventy six. That last cab, <laughs> doors that drive. Let me know if. Ten four. Show you in route sixteen oh four. Two straight, two state troopers, one car. Huh? You hey, go. you know it's I'm, I'm a bad bitch. Uh, I'm driving like a pink car. Like they probably think I'm a threat. Like you know, I want to blame them. It's very, it's very hostile color. Very hostile. Yeah, hot Smart pink. Ass motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of fucking My Little Pony or some shit. Yeah. Okay, jaw my jack, pony, jaw jack, jaw over. jack. <laughs> hey, Miss Pay, just because there's a bunch of people sitting in the back, it's tinted out. You mind just stepping out, come back over here and talk to me? Oh yeah, yes yeah, sir. You're not in trouble or not. Let's just go back to my jaw car. Jack, jaw I just jack, jaw jack, jaw jack. This way, because you park on Damn an awkward it. angle. I don't like it. You know what I mean? Just pay. Here's the deal. I caught you ripping ass out of there, driving a vehicle in a manner that caused excessive noise. Follows you down the block, clock you doing 66 miles per hour in the city limit zones, and then after that. After that, ma'am, it's just, I mean, your driving demeanor is ridiculous. You blew through that red light. We don't hop out and watch these. Yeah, I got a man. You, you caught me. You're, you're, you're lawless, you're ma'am. I know old, I caught you. Uh, Mr. So three, Murdoch three infractions here. can easily add up to a reckless boy. driving. You Once understand who, uh, that? ran from Doyle in the Porsche earlier. Apparently, the he red light alone can't understand why maybe another unit would be a good idea. Noise Doyle outnumbered four to one, and like him did. having... Felonies fine. for evasion and, I didn't, I hate and uh, so trafficking I didn't narcotics. And figure out your speed yet. I don't like Ms. McKenzie math. has priors for aggravated armed Ouch. robbery, attempt homicide, and I did not recognize the other voice. I think that might be Vivian Lake, based on the voice. She has priors for trafficking oh narcotics, that. You aggravated you armed that. robbery, public display of a firearm, attempt homicide, and kidnapping. I wonder why we might send. Just another officer to make sure Doyle doesn't I don't get know. fucking Everybody bushwhacked by these clowns. I when I said that, you know, blonde is kind of ditzy, so I don't know. Like, I feel like rich bitch is I more wonder why. than what I had said, you know what I mean? Who could know? Silly as hell. Dispatch, I'm proud of that? What the call. fuck? 10-4, 1606. Alright, so, what we're doing is because those three contributing factors... I mean, it's damn near expedition. I'm not going to hit you with the individual citations. We're going to be doing a reckless driving for three thousand dollars. Those old duels right. signed out Beyonce, though. Y'all see that? All right, so you can Ouch. go ahead and stand up at the trunk Duel of your car. Duels signed out I'll be back up with you shortly. All right. You got a runner. Oh shit, she did change her hair too. The girl looks completely different. Kind of got like a flight attendant kind of thing. Like a 1960s like flight attendant. Like Mad Men flight attendant. Stewardess. I don't know what is the right thing to say. Stewardess. Ah, oh, whatever. As long as they ain't got guns. <laughs> as long as they ain't got guns. Plus, don't look like she's going to jail. Somebody said United Airlines. Oh, God. We need, we, if so, we need to bring some more goddamn units. Maybe we should ask. 
If so, we'll see who's available. Maybe we'll go get the goddamn SWAT truck. United Airlines out here. Fly the flint the friendly skies. Or get fucking beat the fuck up. Your choice, United Airlines. That'd be, that'd be a dangerous character. Probably those high heels like turn into fucking switchblades or some shit. Jump out on your ass. My man Tim Bone in the chat goes, Hi, Dad. Hi, Mr. Hello, Dad. I'm going to set this on the trunk of your car. This is your ticket. It's not a mission Hello. of guilt. It's just a sign that you're going to pay the fine today. Your three oh. options are explained on the back. Okay. All right. I, I also have something for you, sir. Oh. What does that, what does that mean? The, 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 there you go. Um, Just saying, you know, the color. You guys need to update that. It's like... Oh, my God. What the fuck? I will say, you what boys look fuck? like you're ready to invade not Poland. the time, man, but... If anything's going to get invaded, oh, it's going to be my about? boot to your fucking ass. You were on a police mm. control stop. Mm. You're messing up, Miss Pay. But, but I'm just saying, you know, you need to change You're messing the color. up, Maybe just... You're messing up, Miss Pay. It's, it's a recommendation. I don't yeah. understand I'll, what's I'll the problem here. Shit. I'll take a recommendation. I got thick skin, but you got to figure out who else is here, Miss Pay. He ain't, yeah. That shit ain't going to fly with him. Last You're person gonna I'm going to be taking jail. fashion advice from is somebody looks like a 1963 edition of a United Airlines fucking flight attendant with a Where's Waldo scarf. You're lucky I ain't running you in for a Hamburglar fucking uniform up at state prison, ma'am. Get you some nice black and white like, bars alongside. Your new haircut. Cage it. <laughs> well then. So we found we a way to burn her. We found a way to get it done, Chad. Okay, sir. Fine. Proper preparation prevents right, his poor performance. She opened the door yeah, and boy right howdy did we hit her with it. You a little bit. Boy, howdy, did we right, hit so her here, with it. Deal. I need you to step back over here with me. If you got some free Bet time, you're free that. to go. 100%, you can roll out. Bet I need she to talk about that. Incident. Don't open that door. Okay, okay sir. Alright, this is just going to be a quick field interview. Don't We're open that door. Our ears. I need to talk to you about something. Alright. Don't open that door, because I will come through it. So the times are coming, Miss Pay. I'm stretch my times legs a little okay. I want warrants on Kiki for that bike. Yeah, Mr. Wilson, you I'll can step out and stretch your legs, sir. So what I need... You step out with anything in your hands, you looks dangerous, you're going to get shot. Of the incidents that wait, took wait, happen. All right, all right, sir. Uh, I'm trying to... What what the the fuck fuck is this? You like my new clothing? That's all right. The other buddies want to keep yeah, talking. Yeah, sure thing, Mr. Wilson. It's going to ruin it for all. So, what I'm saying is I need like, a written statement from you. It's free and voluntary. Like the lowest yeah, level 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 I'm yeah, not threatening you with anything. Fine. It's not, not, not a worst incident like little that I'm taking from you statement-wise. However, I feel that Kiki that name. day was intimidating you into saying what she wanted though. to say. And somebody's going to jail for that bike. I need a written statement from you. I'm going to get a sheet. Do you have time to fill that out, ma'am? Um, the jeans look fine. I, I talked to Kiki about like it, and butt she's now. told me it was like, you what know, the alcohol. The, the and, like, I feel like oh, we could do something. I feel like we, we don't you have a problem. We need to leave. Okay, so you guys might have ripped off your friendship. You we gotta move a little bit farther What about when that. I was wearing booty shorts? We need to be watching these people right here. This is what we're doing. Booty shoes, they didn't fit you. We're controlling the car. The booty shorts weren't you, and you were complaining about them, and I told you. A grown you, fucking man, know, we're you do you. If they feel froggy and they want to jump, we're going to handle mm. that shit quick. You been busy today, trooper, or what? Yes, sir. Providing all, all kinds right. of police service. We caught this one scumbag uh, in a stolen fucking uh, Porsche. It was uh, running from Trooper Doyle. Ended up wrecking out, and uh, he had a whole bunch of dope and shit in the car. We got him good, boy. We got him good. Fucked his really? shit all up. Well, I heard uh, I heard he was an excellent driver, and he almost shook uh, the Trooper, Do Trooper Doyle twice. I heard the twice. opposite. I heard he was en route to the fashion bug over at the uh, over at the strip mall to go and pick up some ladies' underwears, and that he enjoys wearing them in his free time. That's what I heard, but, you know, then again... Can't believe every rumor you hear, I guess. <laughs> well, my name's Frank Murdoch, and I happen to enjoy wearing women's underwear. Is there a problem with that? I don't think there is. Oh. It's free country, right? Yep. Well, there That's goes right. our second date. 
I'll be honest, Mr. Murdoch, I did not recognize you, uh, did not recognize you without your motorcycle helmet, sir. I had no idea it was you. Just responding to your question, yeah, that's a little me. awkward. David 20, send over. Yep, yep, I don't doubt that. Advised warrants issued for an Al Sab and a Fanny, fanny Dumpling in go. reference to trafficking marijuana. Ooh, hey, Mr. Stop. Adam, uh, shots fired at him, Ida, Davis, and Carson. You got this homeboy, got a shots fired at Davis and Carson. All right, yeah, I should be good. I'm just trying to get a separate statement for Warren. I've been working on the route, Davis. Hi, Trooper. Shots fired. Careful. I don't want to get yeah, you too, down. Mr. Wilson. I will. You have a good one. Later on, Victoria's Secret. Dispatch 309 How's it going, Boscarelli? Good. Got rear ended by this guy. I proceeded to go forward. <clears throat> he then uh, started shooting at me. I got behind my car, fired at him. Oh. Got back up, started shooting at me again. So I'm all good. I don't think I got hit. Roger that. You already called for the meat wagon. Yeah, I'll call for him right now. Dispatch on him on crossing. Uh, for corner van, my that was right over his head. For one mil, uh, with several GSW. His VSC at the time. That was right over his fucking head. Uh, I don't Blue know. Do I need to call a report or anything? It seems to be uh, happening more, more frequently. If you know what I mean. Okay, look, a 1.5 million dollar car just pulled into the fucking car dealer. What do y'all want to bet? That is not his shit. It actually is his shit? Well, egg on my fucking face. David 20, dispatch. Hmm. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going well, sir. Send it. Got a 911 call saying <laughs> there's a man down at we the skate park on Vespucci Boulevard. Skate park on Vespucci. Reference the bike accident. Do they have a nearest cross? Uh, stand by. Well, we'll add that to the book. We're going to add that to the book. I did not realize that there was one of those legal rolling around. I did not realize that. Nearest cross is going to be South Rockford Drive. Temple. Uh, 309 will be in route for medical. Just back down, one will be code four from that. Uh, last shots fired, turn me back to eight. Temple at 16 Okay, we're gonna be en route to a medical. David 20 dispatch, be advised, 911 hung up on me. Uh, be out at the skate park. This is reference some kind of an accident they may have had. Um, I'm sure that they were doing everything legal and have the proper safety equipment and everything they should be doing. Uh, but with no medical on the way, with uh, the medic going off ship, it's just going to be us. Now with head injuries, which is what this sounds like, uh, there's always going to be a degree of urgency because at any moment, you know, maybe he knock some shit loose or some shit like that and he's about to catch a fucking brain you know, blood clot or something like that in the brain but we gotta get over there as quick as we can find out what's going on and make sure this guy's stable and everything else he should be right around here county dispatch 309 i'm gonna be 1023 at the Vespucci skate park in uh, south roger uh cal you might want you might want to sit 10 4 16 okay. 17 451 will be 10 brain hurt. i did uh. Hey guys, how's it going, everybody? Hello. How you doing? Somebody so called EMS. Hey. Yeah, uh, I, I call. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. We, we both did. Oh, I apologize. Yes, we sir. old childhood friends. 
No! Sorry, yes, no, sir. I didn't... Yes, sir. I just, to say, I just meant to say, yeah, yes. No, sir. Also, I did yes. notice that they yes. specifically wanted EMS, but I came anyway. Because it doesn't matter what y'all want. What I want is for y'all to be safe I mean, out here, but you don't do that. Now back up and let me get my work done. Yes, sir. Hello, Miss Larise. Oh, I'm stuck in like a <laughs> hole. Ah, uh, thank so you. You got God. it. Nice. Why did you do that? That was like way easier. You made it look a lot easier. Are we gonna get really good at his job. That's All right, I'm ma'am. Just focus on your breathing now. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> That's how you call for like EMS. Why'd the cops show up? <laughs> a lot of blood on the ground. I thought you called for EMS and, and the cops like, show up. Surprise, dude. This is not the first time Surprise. that this has happened. It's Me like... landing from a great height always... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I ride bikes anymore. I'm still going to going. where you landed somehow. He sounds okay. He's off of chatty. I don't think anything's... Anyways. Gonna be too damaged. I'm gonna get on my. I'm gonna move my bike out of the way here. All right, ma'am. So why don't you tell me what happened, Mr. Rise? You bang your head against something out. I Adam? was. I I was going off the half pipe. I didn't land it right, and I I kind of got thrown off my bike, and I hit the I hit the the half some concrete fence, and yeah, it hurt a lot. Yes, ma'am. Okay, there isn't any uh, EMS currently on shift, madam, so we're going to have to make do with what we got, all right? I'm going to try standing yep, you up. You tell me if, good, you, if uh, you feel lightheaded, okay? Okay. I think I'm fine. Yeah, all right. Well, make sure to pick up some food now to uh, raise your blood sugar, okay? Just in case you're not feeling so well. Definitely will, sir. Thank you so much. All right, ma'am. Just for the the report, you have your ID on you. I do. It's in my back pocket. Thank you, ma'am. You don't have anything on you nefarious, do you? I need to know about. Uh, no, I don't. You can check if you want, sir. I don't have. Oh, anything. thank you, Miss Larise. I appreciate that. I'll make sure to let all the boys at the station know that I got permission from you to, to check to see if you had any dangerous weapons on you. Just going to frisk you here. Okay, I'm going to cut this uh, state-issued jewelry off you, madam. All right, get yourself some food. Thank you. I definitely will. Thank you, sir. Yeah, later on, fellas. Thank you. I'll be honest. Them not wanting the police to show up makes me Are suspicious. You feeling, uh, I feel matter. good. But I mean, you I, a bike still? to be I fair, gonna, chat, I hate medical well, calls. You know, I really do. Bike. I find them to be irritating. But Thank it's you. part of it. And sometimes no, medicals can turn into other shit, like with Mr. Slater's medical call. Bottom line is, it, they can't. It can't always be the fucking high octane Jerry style calls. You know what I mean? It can't be. Can't be all Jerry level. High octane. Sometimes people just need help. Yep, why don't y'all check on Jerry? Jerry! Jerry! If y'all don't know, Jerry heads up the Marine Division. Uh, our, does all the, the water patrols, etc., for the Eli Army. He's a high octane individual. He rolls around on two great white sharks that are that are lashed together. Does not even eat that I know of. He just it, he just injects intravenous, 93 octane. Try to uh, nickname the the sleepy. The, the uniform sleepyhead guy, Jerry. Because in honor of his high octane lifestyle. In case y'all didn't know. Now one cannot help but notice all of the help lyric, help lyric, lyric needs help, help lyric in the chat. 
If you came to do some metagaming, you came to the wrong place. I do not do that shit. If he needs help, he can call 911. And I'll be the first motherfucker in route. But y'all being in here saying, go help him, go help him, that ain't gonna do nothing for nobody. More than likely, it's just gonna put blood in the water and attract the attention of the the uh, fucking Navy SEAL hard-hitting fucking mod squad and they're gonna time your ass out. That's what's gonna end up happening. If he needs some help, he can dial 911. If he needs, if, if his character's glitched out, he can let me know that. Tell him to use slash A and then type a message. It'll go directly to the admins. I can go over and try to help him if his character's glitched out. He knows that. What I won't do is just randomly show up where the fuck else he is based on some out of game information, y'all. He knows that. He can also PM me if it's an admin issue and we'll address it. I'll do what I can to help him. Okay? That's a slippery fucking slope. It's not what I'm willing to go down. Cannot do it, will not do it. Uh, it would depend. If he's in another world, like on, in another county, it would depend on what the nature of it is. Um, certainly we, we could get in touch with somebody that could help out if it's a glitch, for sure. But then again, like I said, he knows that, y'all. This ain't my man's first day. At this, at this juncture, you could probably call him a seasoned vet. Don't worry about it, y'all. Listen, let me. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of everybody else who creates content. Huge fan of the lyric subs. And got the Doctor Disrespect subs. We got the Timax subs, the Proxy subs, Classy subs, Stripping subs. I know y'all are all out there. I love that. Y'all, y'all drop them emotes anytime. You're more than welcome here. I will never say anything negative about another content creator. They're out here trying to do the same thing, create something enjoyable for other people. A noble effort. So, don't worry about Lyric. Lyric will be fine. Okay, he knows where to go if he needs help. Man's smart. It will get figured out. If he needed help from anybody, me or anybody else, he knows how to get in touch with me. Ah, uh, well, well, well. Mr. Dankweed, what are you doing running along, jumping like a fool, sir? Ah, uh, you know, stop for a walk, sir. Not committing any crime. Yet. Yeah, not that you know. <laughs> My man goes, not that you know of. Touche. I see he's back to purple. I see he is back to purple. Good, make him easily spotted. I guess the change to the yellow jumpsuit was just for our benefit to try to sell that story that he wasn't the one robbing the bank and he secretly wanted to be wearing that purple suit. Hey, Rachel, Who could have thought? Some people have all the money in the house. Down one, Okay, there was just a Metro Transit Police cat alert that came out. Southern side of the city of Strawberry and Crusade, which is going to be near the hospital. If it's somebody doing some shit like trying to take a vehicle or something like that, the place where they're going to head is right up this way. So there goes Bosco. They'll head right up this way, if not take Little Bighorn. But normally they won't do that because it goes right by the goddamn police station. So if they are doing some shit like that, they'll probably head this way. So we're not going to go uh, 
down there chasing the cattle or we'll stay up here, maybe push up to, uh, to the county area. Dispatch, we have 1023 in the area. Hope we'll code 6 to locate. 10-4 at 1628. My man asks, is there a way to fix your siren? Yeah, there is. Uh, unfortunately, whatever 5M did like two or three updates ago broke our siren. So if you, your siren will just basically just go out on you. The only way to fix it is to completely log out and completely log back in, which obviously is not ideal uh, because we may lose our spot in the county. Um, and then obviously, you know, they'd be one one person down we're already on shift all this other shit so but that's the only way to fix it there ain't shit else you can do and it does suck it does fucking suck that's why i had to switch out my rumbler sirens the sirens i have now because whatever it was uh, the update also didn't like the damn rumbler sirens and was giving me a fatal error that shut Dispatch the whole fucking thing the, down uh, stanley was working overtime hold me back over code six correction uh ten eight Now old Stanley was working working overtime, both hands in the fucking cookie jar, up to his goddamn elbows when he broke that shit. That, that was shit that ain't never been broke before, up, up there with uh, being able to lock the vehicles. He just came along and, and bushwhacked both of those fucking things. Now they're broke as shit. That's interesting. A burned up smoking hulk of a fucking uh, vehicle over there on the side of the freeway. Yes, we will. Don't mind if I do. County Dispatch 309, hold me out with an abandoned vehicle. Uh, it's going to be westbound Los Santos Freeway in the Alta District, nearest cross. It's going to be uh, Popular Street on ramp. Ten four three nine sixteen thirty one. Dispatch David twenty. Show me out with a ten ten on Polito and Great Ocean Highway. Ten four. Advising ten ten mm. in progress. Great Ocean Polito Highway. Three zero nine zero push that way. Ten four three nine. All the units continue to hold the air to advise the status of ten ten. Got an officer uh, reporting a fight in progress. Dispatch David twenty ten ten good four. It was Adam Media versus uh, Romeo Papa. Ten four three nine direct. Three zero nine direct ten twenty two. Be back in service. Now I believe what they were riding in was a pink in color a Sia. That was a Subaru Impreza, but it's going to come back registered to Miss Lake, who, as I said, is a known felon with a number of George or number of number of caution codes in her jacket, including a George code. Um, so her reluctance to report a vehicle accident and fire, you know. Again, doesn't really necessarily paint what her activities have been since she's been off the train in a very good light. Normal individual, they have a fire, 
where a car accident, a fire, they call for help. She made the executive decision to just let it fucking burn all the way down to the frame and to leave it as a smoking, smoking fucking hulk on the, on the fucking freeway. Hmm. Well, like I said, we just add that to the repertoire. You know what I mean? That's how it is, Chad. You just you take pieces of information and you just add them in. So hypothetical, you know, let's say we stop Miss Miss Lake and she's in a, a stolen car or some other shit. She's out doing some nefarious shit. And then she's like, well, I was just trying to go pick up my car. Like, that's why I was in such a hurry. What kind of car is it? Oh, my Subaru Impreza. We already know now. We documented it. That her Subaru Impreza is sitting on the freeway burned to a fucking crisp. You know, so that will help us identify, again, inconsistencies in the story. If she tries to weave up any bullshit in there, we know the whereabouts of that fucking vehicle. It is absolutely 100% destroyed. And she ain't reported it stolen either. Which is another fun thing that, that they like to do. Is they'll, they'll wait until we spot their vehicle doing some criminal ass shit, then they immediately call 911 and report it stolen. Either way. The more you know, the more you know. Hmm. I'll be honest, y'all, but the wheels are turning because the train station area is fucking deserted. Normally you're going to have at least three or four people playing grab ass over there. Car dealership area, pretty sparse. Skate park had three people fucking around. Miss Larias, Cal, and, uh, and Mr. Slater. That means there's a whole bunch of shit that's going on somewhere that we don't have eyes on or purview or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It ain't that there ain't shit going on, it's just we ain't finding it. Which is why we're pushing to the county in the first place. With Doyle in the city, especially with him in that southern district of the city, ain't much gets by that dude. Um... Us together there with, with a number of people, it could be overkill. So we will uh, we'll kind of extend out. Is that a murder kitty? No. Whew. We'll, uh, we'll extend out and uh, attempt to find some more folks to make contact with. I also do recall that Deputy Blasco had a traffic stop initiated on that black and color Lambo. It went out over the net a little while back. I don't recall if he got the disposition on that or not. I would be interested to know what the tag reads and who that was that was driving the vehicle to add it to the book. Although, again, it does seem like everybody and their fucking brother now has like a Lamborghini or a fucking Ferrari or goddamn Harrier jump jet. It's just the shit's falling out of everybody's ass. I don't understand where these sons of bitches ended up getting the money. It's just, uh... A real fucking head scratcher. Let me stop in here right quick and get some gasoline. Get some gasoline up. For not being so fast, the son of a bitch sure does put away gasoline quick. Well, we still had the the crowd pleaser as the jump out for that fight in progress. Still had the crowd pleaser ready to go. Nothing calms down the high octane atmosphere of a fist fight in progress like a couple of fucking rubber bullets in the back. That'll take the fight right out of you. 
Don't matter who you were mad at or what. Once one of those sons of bitches hits you in the back, take the fire right out of you. All of a sudden, you cannot wait to find some kind of a peaceful solution to whatever was going on. Maybe we'll set some ice cream aside for you, maybe. Maris 